just to welcome you back, we had to have some music today. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, in fact, one of your favorite musicians, I think, mm -hmm. our next guest turning his 12-string guitar into his own personal orchestra. And while he's at it, he covers a world of music from gypsy to Balkan folk, jazz, classical, and modern finger style. Mm-hmm. That's right. He's traveled all around the world working on his sound, and now he calls West Michigan home. And today, we're very lucky to have Neil Jacobs back with us today in our 8 West studios. And Neil, every time I hear you warming up, I think if I close my eyes, I can imagine I'm in a faraway land. Well, that's very nice of you to say that. I do I have a lot of different music from a lot of different parts of the world, and um, that picked up along the way in my travels. Today I'm going to share something from uh, Croatia, Hungary, kind of a region, sort of a chardash wow. on the full string guitar. Is it a love of traveling that basically, you know, inspired you to start taking your music and really doing sounds from across the world? Because I think a lot of musicians say, okay, I'm inspired by maybe the Rolling Stones <laughs> or another group, or maybe a very famous group. But I know that you basically really are inspired by different cultures. Well, I've had a lot of opportunity to, to study with the gypsies and, and travel and uh, God, I had actually just had a lot of experiences that brought me places and I was invited back. Because uh, you're a nice guy. <laughs> maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. That maybe he's really just plays for his supper. <laughs> People like to be entertained. What is it about actually visiting a place, visiting a country that gives you such mm -hmm. uh, Inspiration is it the authenticity, maybe, of the sound that you're able to imagine and then channel through your guitar? Well, it's nice to be immersed in a culture. Um, when I would go, I'd usually study or with the people and live in the homes of the people. And when I travel with the gypsies or what, I, it was more not really like a vacation or being a tourist. It was like immersing yourself in the culture and. Um, of course, in, in the Balkans, I was there as a, performing in refugee camps and picking up the music of, uh, of the real musicians, the real folk musicians. Yeah, yeah. You bring that up, and we think about gypsies, and we may think of some of the stories that we've seen on TV or movies. What is it like with a modern-day gypsy? Well, it's not all... Uh, a lot of, it's not all fun and uh, mm -hmm. and exotic. It, it's a, a lot of down-to-earth things. But the, the, the culture... That when it, when it comes to the music, uh, it's it's also there. It's all very vibrant, and it, uh, the traditional music is, is quite wonderful. Passed down, pretty it's much. It's passionate too. and passed down. There's no really written tradition in gypsy in uh, the gypsies, the Roma. Um, it's all passed down by word of mouth, all oral. Fascinating. When people here come to see you play, what do you hope they take away? Not just the music, the sound, and the maybe one or two hours of entertainment, but what do you really hope they take away? Maybe is it a connection to the people in those other lands? Perhaps. I, I just want them to, to experience, just close their eyes and experience different different musics. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it, the concerts that I, that I give generally I go, I have classical music from cartoon classics, ca classical music all the way through uh, gypsies and uh, and uh, Eastern European music and folk music, as well as some American music as yeah. well. Well, you're excellent on the guitar. You've been playing since you were about 10 years old. Today you brought your 12 string in. Can you just talk about what that's like? Because that's a treat that we don't always get to have here in our studio. <laughs> Well, this is my very oldest one. This is the one I've lovingly played for years and traveled all around the world with. Um, this is actually a, a, a testament to bad, worn well. yeah, bad playing technique. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you may have a bad playing technique, but your sound yeah, is amazing. Is this more challenging to play than your typical guitar? Oh, the 12 string. Well, it has more strings. It takes a little more strength just to touch more, and it's it's hard to tune. Mm -hmm. You can't. You don't have the sustain. You have to manufacture sustain, and uh, and it's just more difficult to play. Fantastic. What are you playing for us right now? I'm gonna play a little chardash. I like to call my cowboy chardash because when you play a chardash, which is the music of Hungary, basically, mm -hmm. a, a very fast kind of dance music from from. I bet it has Hungarian in nature, but this is actually from northern Croatia on the border with Hungary. And okay. you actually have a performance coming up this Friday the 13th? Yes, I do. Tell us yeah. about that. People can still get tickets. It's very affordable. 
Well, it's in Grand Rapids during the, the Art Walk, is mm -hmm. that what it's called? Mm -hmm. And it's at the uh, Lutheran Sanctuary. And uh, I'm not, I don't really have the address. It's on Commerce. We have the information. Commerce, we'll put okay. that on our that. website as well. On my yeah. website, too. Yeah. What a great place to come in and rest your weary feet and yes. enjoy some great music. Yes, yes exactly. It's Friday. All right. All right, Neil, take it away. Okay. Amazing. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> 